One of the high priority leads the FBI is checking, an area man resembling the drawing of the suspect. He left his job last Friday, has not returned, but authorities will not comment further on that. Amy disappeared from the shopping center a week ago today. And today, FBI agents and Bay Village police were back in the center talking with people who might have been here then. Amy reportedly left Bay Square with a man she believed to be a friend sometime between 1 and 4 p.m. last Friday. The shopping center was busy, but few who were here remembered anything unusual about the man and the girl. What went on uh, was a ploy that was developed and carried through, and it looked like a natural uh, action going on. It didn't look out of the ordinary at all. Today, in that same 1 to 4 p.m. time frame, Officers were trying to jog memories of shoppers to possibly recall something from a week ago that they did not consider important then. Okay, I'll be glad to Police want anyone else who was here last Friday afternoon to call them, regardless of whether they believe they saw anything. Police also are seeking other children who might have been contacted by phone, as Amy was, by a man as a friend seeking the child's help in buying a gift for a parent. You have had some of those? Yes, we have. How many? I'm uh, aware of at least three, perhaps more. John Harrington, Channel 3 News. Earlier this year in episodes 308 and 309 titled Amy Mahalovic. That was from June of this year. We were able to do a detailed timeline of this case. This is an unsolved abduction, assault, and murder case of a 10-year-old girl, 10-year-old Amy Mahalovic. This weekend, unfortunately, will mark a sad anniversary. It will now be 30 years to the day that Amy was abducted, taken from a small shopping plaza. That was just walking distance from her middle school. The abduction was not a violent one. Amy did not scream. This was not a snatch and grab situation. A man calmly walked up to her and she left with this grown man. This was witnessed by two of her classmates. Now, for anyone who is unfamiliar with this case, don't panic. You don't have to go back and listen to episodes 308 and 309 before listening to this week's coverage. We are covering this case in a way that these are pretty much standalone portions of what is a very, very big story. So what is now a 30-year timeline of a very big case, you get that in depth in those episodes. The purpose of this week is to discuss some of the suspects in this case. 